what's up guys? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles. And today I'm out here at Alki Cove One in Seattle, Washington to test out a drone, but not one that flies in the sky, one that goes under the sea. It's called the Gladius Mini from a company called Chasing. Now, all of the information for this drone you'll find in the video description, but you're gonna to wanna to watch this entire video to the end because not only do we see a lot of sea life right out here at the cove, but we also took a boat out in the middle of Lake Washington, went down 100 feet, and actually surveyed a World War II wrecked craft. It was really freaking cool. So you're gonna to wanna to watch the whole video. And if you like videos like this, tech reviews, please subscribe and ring the bell. It's, it's really important. It's important, it's, trust me. It's that important. All right, let's go crack this bad boy open, throw it in the water and see if we get it back by the end of the day. <laughs> this right here is the Gladius base station and it actually has both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz capabilities for connecting to your phone. It has an internal battery that goes for about five hours on a charge. You can actually set it up to do the 2.4 or the 5 gigahertz, depending on your environment. It connects to the ROV through this cable right here. And it's got metallic ends on both sides of the cable. It's actually really high quality cable ends. Now, one of the really cool features of the hub is that you can open up this little side panel here, just like so. And you can see there that you have an HDMI port. You can plug that into an external monitor or display. And that's what we did when we were out on the boat. And it's cool because everybody can see what's going on from the sub through that HDMI. If there's one thing I criticize about this package, it'd be the controller just because it just feels a little bit plasticky and a little bit cheap. But at no point did I find that hindering the performance of the craft. As a matter of fact, this thing flies a lot better than some of the drones that I've flown around. And, and even though this little plastic connector doesn't really look like much, that is the easiest way I've ever connected a phone, honestly, to, to, to a controller. And the battery life on the controller is about six hours, which is even more than the base station. I do love that they have the finger controls for the pitch control up and down, just like you'd have on a camera on a conventional drone. And I also like the auxiliary buttons you have for switching between photography modes and video mode. Now here is the big deal. This is the Gladius Mini itself. It's actually really heavy, which is ironic because the controller I just criticized for being too light, but this thing's heavy. Now the reason being is it needs to be neutrally buoyant in the water. So you can go crazy and put the heaviest battery you got in it and just leave a void of space inside to make it neutrally buoyant. Now, if you're in salt water or fresh water, there's an insert that you can use on the bottom to change it so that it's neutrally buoyant in both areas. So you don't just burn up the battery trying to hold itself down underwater as one connector. It's as simple as that. No, the battery is internal and sealed so you can charge it. And if the battery did fail at some point, you could tear it apart and reseal it and put a new battery in it. But the thing I like about that is if you change out the battery, that's another point of ingress for water. That right there is the 4K camera. I believe it's a Sony sensor. As a matter of fact, the camera I'm using right now has a Sony sensor. I wouldn't be surprised if it's similar to the one that's in there. All right, so it has a total of five thrusters. You can see three in a configuration here. These are for diving down. And then you have two that move it forward and backwards. And when you pitch it, what it's basically doing is speeding up the rear one or slowing down the rear one to give it that attitude and hold it. Now that right there is the ballast plate. That's where you'd unscrew it and you'd put in the salt water or the fresh water, depending on where you're using it. But it worked fine in salt water with the fresh water ballast plate. So there you go, top tip. All right, so personally, I have to say at this point that I absolutely do want one because I think that this would be really, really useful to just take out to the beach and launch and just have some fun with, and also to scare a scuba diver. You know a scuba diver would just freak out if you just saw this cruising around by him. You know he would. It's not recommended. <laughs> Maybe not by you. All right, so now that I can see everything on my phone wirelessly connected, we're gonna connect it to the controller right here. Let's go from off to on. All right, it says select the controller to connect to. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and select that bad boy. All right, so now, now we're connected to it, I'm guessing. The low, medium, and high here at the bottom of the screen is actually so you can control the speed of the craft. So if you're feeling like really, really frisky, you can get it up to high and just haul ass. All right, so we've let out some cable here. Uh, the spool has 100 meters of cable. All right, so I'm just gonna pop her in, okay? All right, here we go. Oh, hit the lock. Yeah. Oh, there it is. And then you're in business. Oh, wow, so, so she just sunk right down. She did. Okay, so it just pops right down the water. Yep. So right now it's trying to hold its position. Yep. Is that what it's doing right now? That's my rotation. Okay, so I pushed the record button in the software. So now the drone is recording. Here we go. Go into the depths. Let's take a little peek around. Oh, look at all the fishes. There's fishes everywhere. Oh my gosh, look at this dude. Look at all the fishes. Isn't that awesome? Dude, they all like, let's go chase, chase a fish here. Let's see. Go get them. Go get them fishes. Come here, guys. Come here, guys. Look, I'm in the school of fish. But that is they're not cool. really they're not bothered by it at they, all. They probably think it's awesome because it's like this bright yellow. It's like it's like a lure. Dude, I did not realize there was that many fish under us. This is crazy. We're just on a dock at Alki Cove One. All right, well here, let's go down a little deeper. Let's see if they follow me down. Okay. If you're down, I can turn this little knob right here at the top. See this little knob? I'm gonna pitch that down, and that's gonna let me look down at the ground. And then if I want, I can turn the lights on. So there we go, we got some lights. 
going down. And then to bring it up, it's this stick right here, right? And these are all configurable. Yep. This is just DJI drone underwater. Like, look at that, guys. This looks amazing on the screen. I can't wait to see the actual video. But look, I can go down. Like, watch, I'm gonna go ahead and start sinking down. So you can see these things going all the way down, see all the fishes. This is so cool. Ooh, what is that? There's an interesting looking creature moving around here. What is this? What is, oh, what is that? that? And one thing you can't do with this is you can't go side to side. That's the one thing that you Correct. can't do. So you gotta like kind of go in the direction you want and then turn around and look at it. And today we discover a new species. But look how, look how stable it is, dude, even with the current. Even with the current, it's staying right where it needs to. It's cool too, you got a compass. So you can, you know, guesstimate like how far you need to go forward. I'm gonna turn, there's my pylons. It's hard to see in the sun because it's so bright, but you guys can see on the screen capture. I'm right up under the dock here. Oh, I see a fishy. I see fishes. Fishes everywhere. Look at them. Oh my gosh, this is cool. Let me go down a little bit. Whee! To the depths of the fishes. Let me rotate it around until we're doing due north. There's a little compass heading right here at the top. So we're gonna get that pointed north. I like how the fish are all just like interested. You'd think they'd be scared of this thing, but they're not. They're like, oh, you're one of the cool. All right, so this is the direction we wanna go. I wanna go down and then rotate a little bit. I wanna go around the pylon and here we go. Whee, join in the school. Out of the way, out of the way. Guys, come through, come through, out of the way, out of the way. So this pylon right here has, back off the speed a little bit. Oh, look at that. Freaking cool is that? Let me go down that. I wanna see, there's all kinds of creatures. Oh, there's a sea slug and a starfish. Dude, the, no wonder there's so many fish here. Look at the food. Like, this is literally the, the fish restaurant store here. All right, going on up, going on up. Keep, keep in mind, we're only in medium mode, guys. This thing's like pretty agile. Dude, this compass is like super handy. Whoa, I got some crazy thing on the screen. Dude. And, oh, and enemies that. or yeah. whatever. Yeah, those are enemies. Yeah. Two, yeah. How freaking cool is that? All right, well, let's back up off these guys. So, oh, the big fish down there. Okay, so I'm gonna point it up a little bit so I can see the tether. Oh, I can see it going around the pylon. Cool, we're gonna drag it right around the pylon. So, so the cables that's on the ground that we have paid out right here, it's actually really tangle resistant, which is nice. So you can kind of loop it around in a pile if you're doing this by yourself, which is kind of, kind of important. All right, you ready? We're dumping her in. Like I can just rotate around and like look at this stuff along the bulkhead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sink down until we see him. Dive, my pretty. Let's back off the wall just a little bit. There he is. Here's my guy. Oh, that's so cool. You can rotate super slow too, which is neat. So like, let me go down. Oh, and there's actually two of them right there. Whee! We're still recording in 4K30 at 60 megabit per second. Let's go down a little deeper. Ooh, look at all these fishes that hang out under here, dude. This is like the feeding grounds. Does anybody know what kind of fish these are? This is actually, this is a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun. So you can cruise around. It's like you don't have to have your uh, scuba diving certification. That's really neat. And that's looking down at a downward angle. So let me bring it up so that it's looking, uh, let's see, straight ahead. All right, so this is straight ahead right here. Let's move it forward. I like how with the part particulate in the water, it looks like it looks like Star Trek. You're like like little looks like warp. Warp speed. You're going into warp speed. Whee! Oh, there's like a huge kelp bed over here. <laughs> you know people are gonna use these in their swimming pool. They just are. Ooh, what's this? Hold on, I think I see that big metal pylon. Oh, I think that's the one that's right behind me. I think that's it. Let me look up. Yes, sir. Oh, found a lot. Hold on. Dude, this is a huge school. Dude, with the lights on, they're so shiny. Ooh, look at that. That is pretty colors right there. What? What is that even? It's just kelp. Just kelp? It's just algae. Dude, algae is even interesting with this. See, like, watch. I'm going to back up. I'm going to get it framed up. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tell it to stabilize. It is. This is like a different experience than flying a drone. Is that the ramp for the boats? Yeah, well, for the boat, yeah. Oh, it's that. Okay, so it's a little boat launch over there. That's cool. Oh, there's a ton of fish here, too. And we are in a wicked school fish, so I'm going to flash flash my beams out. Oh, dude, they all scatter. Oh, they did. Dude, I turned up the light, and there's a million of them. They just, just disappeared. <laughs> dude, this is a trip. Okay, they're they're curious. They're all coming back. Oh, oh, there's a fish we haven't seen. Oh, dude, that, that's the same fish that we saw uh, at the shipwreck. Oh, oh. You see him? Yeah. yeah right there. That's right. the same one. Right there. There he is. Oh, no, that's oh. a rock fish. Was that a rock that's fish? That's a rock fish. Dude, what a trip. Hello. Oh, there's oh. another big star. Yeah. Down there, you got a little sub submarine driving around down there. No. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, come check it out. No. Look, it's, 
we got something to read. Oh, yeah, watch. He's going to pop up here somewhere. Time to breach the surface. And boom. There we are. All right, I'm coming back to you. Going to shine it over me. Look at it. Look, there it is. Right there. This thing is so cool, man. Because, guys, when you try this with a DJI Phantom, it instantly voids the warranty. <laughs> All right, as promised, guys, here's the footage of us heading out on Lake Washington on my buddy David's boat, Kayla. And we take the Gladius Mini, chuck it in the water. We go down 100 feet at the GPS location of the sunken World War II landing craft, and we find it right off the bat. Um, the footage is amazing that we got from this thing. I'm surprised that the sensor in the camera was able to pick up anything with the lights off being that deep under the water. I found that like pretty remarkable. And the image quality is fantastic we also found a couple of fish that looked like they were ready to go to war with us to protect their home but it was just a really neat experience being able to pilot something this deep now flying drones is something that we take for granted today but when they first came out we were like oh my god this is crazy technology and i felt the same way like when i flew my first drone because this is just unexplored territory being able to go 300 feet down in saltwater freshwater i believe it's actually 330 feet is what it's rated for uh, while staying nice and dry up at the surface is just an amazing thing and you have to experience it for yourself. If you guys would be interested in getting one of these chasing uh, Gladius Mini Crafts for yourself, all the links to the information and to purchase one of these you'll find in the video description. And if I had to be nitpicky about this thing, I would say just the controller feels a little bit on the light side for something that's this expensive, but it functioned absolutely perfectly. I had no hiccups or problems with it whatsoever. The software install was pretty intuitive and straightforward it uses bluetooth and wi-fi uh and the only thing that's a little bit strange about it is the sd card slot does not function it is there but it doesn't function you actually do have to get the video downloaded from the craft over wi-fi to your phone through the application and then save it to your camera deck and that was a little bit tricky to figure out at first but once i got it all worked out obviously you can see the video footage turned out great in this review so if you guys have any other questions please leave them below in the comments or come over and follow me on twitter i am at barnacles and please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell i have over 700 videos on my channel that range in technology 3d printing unboxings racing simulation virtual reality pretty much anything that you could consider nerdy and I would love for you to take a look at my library. All right, guys, you have a great one, and until next time.